Hey Scorpio, I hope that you guys are all doing great. Welcome to your singles love reading for November. Just know that I wish you guys all the best when it comes to your love life. I truly do. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn. I'm a psychic medium. This is Passionate Heart Tarot. I do hope that you'll subscribe. If you're wondering a little bit about this channel, it's been around for like a couple years now and it was actually named the fourth most eerily accurate uh, channel on YouTube for psychic readings so thank you for being here um let's see what spirit shows us is coming in this month all right Scorpio before I begin a reading just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the place. Sagittarius energy. Are you guys dealing with a Sagittarius? Your energy is here, Scorpio. Libra. Is there any like on the cusp? Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. I wonder because that energy is very strong. So it could be your moon or rising signs or it could be who you're dealing with this month who could be coming your way very interesting there's almost i think that there's a lot of mixed messages here that's what i can see and then and then funny because it's is someone on the cusp sagittarius capricorn it's really funny the way that that energy goes libra scorpio sagittarius capricorn i feel like um there's gonna be a major shift a huge change and it could even be with what you like how you see things when i see mixed messages like hot and cold i wonder if you're just trying to make a decision here that could be the case these are the energies coming through so these two say a lot about like mixed messages and like in indecisive energy trying to make a decision trying to figure things out because this month I feel can be um, like exciting for you guys. There's a whole lot of chemistry and passion and attraction that I feel around you. So, I mean, there, there will, if you're open to it, there's no shortage in like, like the flirting, the passion, the physical, the sexual, the kissing, the touching, like all of that energy will be there for you. And I see you guys embracing it because this is like a lot of, um, it's physical, it's sexual, but then the night is like not grounded quite yet, not settled. So I wonder if it's you guys enjoying, um, enjoying those experiences maybe connecting with someone and it's super fun like it's exciting it's very satisfying in like a physical and sexual way it's funny that there's this opportunity though for a, a major commitment that's there the three of pentacles is that's not any old kind of relationship because this shows me deep into the spiritual side of things with this person this shows me that the two of you actually have I mean, you both wanted to get into a relationship before you came into this life. Like, it's something that is pre-planned. So this is someone that you've um, known lifetime after lifetime, been with lifetime after lifetime. You could have even been with this person already in this lifetime and their energy is coming back around, to be honest with you, because the past is around you as well. But it's even deep because I look at that as like past life what was planned before you came in i know that's really deep but that's that's important that you know how significant the connection could be because three of pentacles is like a contract between you and them but then you know when you look at it from like an easier perspective it's coming together with someone entering into a relationship entering into a commitment so you guys might be surprised the way that something shifts maybe you thought it was going to be casual and it, turn, it can turn into something very real and like grounded and stable but there's a lot of energy of like do i or don't i yes like it's funny because i always look at it like you know when someone's double dutching and they're like trying to 
time when they should jump in. It's That's what the energy is like, feeling things out. So if you are on the receiving end of that, just know how that can feel. It can feel like it's mixed messages, not really sure. But I'm reading for you, so I kind of look at the energy as your own. Are you trying to figure out, do I take things to the next level? If you're wondering what could be, um, let's look a little further into that three of pentacles for some of you you honestly and this is only if you will embrace it the energy is there doesn't mean you have to take it though because the six of cups is here that's the past and the present so there could even be someone that you an ex honestly um or maybe even like a situation ship you know i'm not here to judge but that comes back around again and you guys could end up spending time together, even end up um, sleeping together again, reconnecting in that way. Th that's here. I wonder if they've already tried to come back in for some of you. That could be the case. So don't be surprised if you do have someone from the past that comes back around and you feel very attracted to them still. Okay, let's look at the three of pentacles. I see Leo's energy as well as Pisces. Are any of you dealing with either of those? Lots of different signs are coming through Scorpio. So that could be um, who's coming to you. If this person is new or you may know exactly who that is. I think what you'll do this month is more go with the flow. I think you have an idea in your mind that like, I want to see how this plays out naturally organically i don't want to force anything i don't want to rush anything so some of you could just be kind of in, enjoying the dynamic of things now i say that because this is a very satisfying it's a very like um exciting energy it's someone that like when you are gonna see them you anticipate it you look forward to it like you do what you need to do to like make sure you're feeling your best looking your best you want to impress them they want to impress you that's what the energy is like I think that there's definitely opportunity and it could be very surprising to someone the way that it I mean that it Maybe you think it's casual and it turns into so much more. Maybe you think you're having a casual connection with someone and they say to you, hey, you know, this is how I really feel about you. I want a commitment from you because someone wants a commitment from the other one. And since this is general, you know, I have to read it from like a, a higher perspective. So what I see happening around the connection is someone saying like, I, I don't want to have anything be forced. I don't want to feel like there's pressure or control let's just let it happen organically so that could be how you end up feeling scorpio or if someone is or if it's the other way i would try to avoid applying too much pressure because the potential is still there the destiny is still there it's not something that has to be like rushed or forced into because i know where there's a major shift that's coming in it definitely is. Okay, I want to look at that death card. I can see Taurus's energy coming through. So I feel like this is almost like maybe even a piece of advice to someone with Taurus's energy in reverse. I feel like someone here, because they do want a commitment from the other one so much, they may even compromise a lot and even settle for certain things. Now, that doesn't mean they settle and they're being degraded or belittled. That's not what it is. It's more like just this energy of, well, I have this time frame in my mind. I'm not getting it. So let me um, like go with the flow. I feel, and I'm not saying this to be insensitive towards anyone i feel though the more that someone goes with the flow the more changes will come in i feel like if anything is like forced or pressured um it'll have damaging consequences on the dynamic between the two of you and on the connection See, I, I, I feel sensitive to that because I know if someone is like, well, I'm giving of myself to this person, you know, I, you know, you're sleeping with them, you're opening yourself up, making yourself vulnerable. I totally, totally get 
where you may want uh, more security, knowing that it's um, a committed relationship. I, I know that's how someone will feel. But then when I look at the feelings from the other person's perspective, they want to just let things fall into place. Let's let it happen organically. Let's enjoy. Let's be here and in the now. Let's be in the moment. Why do we have to like follow anyone else's rules? Why do we have to have like such uh, harsh restrictions? Why do we have to follow in anyone else's footsteps? Can't we make our own rules? That's what the energy's like. So of course you guys will, you know, take from that what you will, but that's really what it what it is. And I just think it's important for someone to know that because then they can put they can decide what they want to do from there. They can decide. I just feel like if anyone tries to pressure or rush the other one into anything, it will have negative effects on the connection. That's that's it. That can be a hard pill to swallow for someone, especially if they feel like they're giving a lot of themselves. Well, then that's where they have the choice to, that's where they have a choice to make. You know, just watch how this person is with you. Just watch what they say. You know, everyone has a right to deserve what they want in, in love and get what they want. But I just, I'm not going to lie to you. The more pressure that's put on someone, the more, the more tension it causes and not in a good way. I feel like um, there's, there's nothing here that's, I feel like there's nothing here that's malicious, although someone may feel like, um, I think they just want to be partnered. They do. They just want to be partnered. And the more that they feel there's resistance from this person and they won't move into a connection with them, um, they start to look at it in a, in a negative way. They start to wonder, is there anyone else? Are you dealing with anyone else? So there's a lot to think about here, Scorpio, and I wonder which energy is yours. Are you the one that just kind of wants to let things fall into place naturally? Are you the one that doesn't want to follow like rules or traditions and just like let's write our own story and do things in a way that that feels good for the both of us? Or are you the one that is like, I want a relationship with you now? Because that's this person's energy. So you just may have someone who really wants you to make a commitment to them. And I can see if you're if you're wondering, um, there is something that's meant to be here between you and this person. It's a path that that if you're wondering if you should take it, you are you are meant to take it. All right, I want to look at that Knight of Wands. So I feel like um, I try to remain neutral in the readings, even though I'm reading for you, Scorpio, because I never know like which side you'll be on because it's general. But those are the energies. So I like to tell them from both sides so someone can, it's kind of like um, you can get a leg up that way. Because if someone here is, a, they know they're applying pressure, um, they may choose to like be a little more easygoing and that's a, I don't say that to put that person down but they may choose that or they may say you know what I've waited long enough for you if this is the dynamic that it's going to be this month then I have to make a, a choice for myself if I want to keep holding on to it that's what I can see and I, it does make me wonder um it's funny that these keep flipping over. And then the two of wands came out. That's like indec indecisive energy. I didn't say it, but that's what it is. Six of cups in reverse repeating like that. And then um, it's funny how these energies will just start to repeat over and over and over. When, it, when that happens, it's spirit letting me know that like, okay the reading's done pretty much because it's like it's going to be the same energy repeating and it could even be like for emphasis maybe for someone to to believe certain things that could be the case it's just important that someone uses their intellect a little bit more this month i know where there's like a lot of chemistry here there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of like you know those those kind of things like those urges and stuff um, but I just think it's important that someone uses their intellect more because on the one hand, 
Why should they have to settle? But on the other hand, why should someone be forced to do something that they want They want to play out more naturally? So I see it from both perspectives. That's what the energy is like. I think it's important for someone to kind of make sure their emotions are in check because if their emotions get out of check, they'll start to get kind of angry. They'll start to like really read into things. They'll start to get in this place where they're wondering, are you dealing with someone else? Um, their thoughts may punish them more than this person is like, th these things might not even be going on, but it's like this person's own thoughts and worry are more punishment than the reality. So that's just important for someone to keep in mind. I feel like I have to put that out there because someone here might be watching because, uh, you know, I just wonder what you guys will decide to do. I just know that someone wants a commitment from the other one and they they want to. If you're wondering, like, why? Because this person is in that phase in their life and they just want they have a lot that they want to give to someone. And they look at the other one like you are the one that I want in my life. Like, I want a man in my life or I want a woman in my life and I want that person to be you. They're ready to move things to a serious place. And the other one is just trying to feel things out more. I would just say to avoid... It's funny because I would avoid putting pressure. Okay, you guys, I hope that that makes sense. You know, the way that I'm reading it from both sides, but that's what spirit is showing me. So, you know, this is the singles reading. I wonder if you guys know who this person is. Like, are you dealing with them now? Because I just, I feel like you are because there's a lot of energy of the past in the present. Or just be prepared for someone to come back around again. That could be the case for some of you. For others of you, this could be someone entirely new that walks in because there's this energy of like big change that's here. Someone new that walks in or you walk into their life and you just know right away what you want and you may find that the other person's a little bit hard to like get them to be grounded this isn't a reading that's like saying oh it's a free pass to be disrespected i don't see any energy here of disrespect i just see someone who's way more free spirited and just wants to follow like the flow that's that's what it is okay scorpio that is what i see coming in for you guys for november just know that i send you all much love and light i do wish you all the best in your love life comment let me know what's going on okay um thank you for being here with me don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe i would really appreciate it uh give the video a like thank you guys for everything i'll see you in the next reading